Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and welcome to episode 27 of the European Road Trip with RB Leipzig. Today we take on Wolfsburg in the Bundesliga as we look to extend our lead at the top of the table. We've got a few results to run through as well and we find out if we made it through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League and if so... Who are we going to take on? Don't forget, if you enjoy this content, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel. And also, don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Right, let's dive into the results, shall we? And here are the results we've had since we were last together. So, we followed the 3-0 win over Sevilla in the Champions League first leg with a 4-0 win over Schalke. Kleiver, Olmo, Torres and Bergwijn with the goals. We then followed that up with a German Cup quarter-final win over Borussia Mönchengladbach. Two goals for Yusuf Poulsen on the day, as we saw safe passage through to the semi-finals. We then followed that up with a one-all draw with Hertha Berlin. Tyler Adams with our goal. Pichak with the reply for Hertha Berlin. We then followed that up with a 2-0 home win against Union Berlin. Left it late though. Soloff with the goal and Umpakano with the second one. And last time out we beat Sevilla by two goals to nil to confirm a 5-0 win on aggregate. Olmo and Bergwijn with the goals as we got through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And speaking of the quarterfinals of the Champions League... Let's take a look at the draw. So we're going to have both the draw for the quarterfinals and for the semi-finals. So we get our pathway to potentially making the final. Let's do it, shall we? So here are the quarterfinal teams. So we could face Atletico Madrid, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester United, Manchester City, Milan or Real Madrid. It could well be an English club in the last eight for us. So let's do it, shall we? Automatic draw time. So the first team out are Atletico Madrid. They will take on Milan. Manchester United will take on Manchester City. Chelsea, not Chelsea, no. RB Leipzig for Chelsea. Once again in the Champions League, Liverpool will take on Real Madrid. Four cracking ties for the quarterfinal at least. But who are we going to take on beyond that? Here is the semi-final draw. So Manchester United and Manchester City will take on Atletico Madrid or Milan. Liverpool or Real Madrid will take on the winners of our tie between us and Chelsea. So potentially Liverpool in the semi-finals or Real Madrid. So with everything now confirmed, we can head to the competition screen. So our reward for beating Mönchengladbach is to take on Eintracht Frankfurt in the semi-finals of the German Cup. There is that tie with Chelsea in the quarter-final of the Champions League. And that's at the beginning of April. In the Bundesliga, as you can see, we have already qualified for next year's Champions League. We are 17 points in front of Bayern Munich with eight games left to play in the season it is surely now only a matter of time before we are confirmed champions of the Bundesliga. Bayern Munich have got 55, Hoffenheim have got 52, Dortmund have got 47, Munchen Gladbach are on 43, Herder Berlin and Freiburg have got 42 as the race for Europe starts to hot up. Cologne have got 39, Eintracht and Frankfurt have got 37 to complete the top half down at the bottom where Union Berlin are still rooted to the bottom and I think it's fair to say they will be playing Bundesliga 2 football next season, 13 points from 26 played. Paderborn are on 19, they are looking like they may well get out of trouble although they've still got a little bit of work to do. Leverkusen are on 21, Schalke are on 24, Werder Bremen 25, Hamburg 28, Mays 30, Wolfsburg 31 who are today's opponents and Stuttgart have 34. So let's move on to the teams for today's match with Wolfsburg. So here are the two starting lineups for this one. Wolfsburg starts with Pavan in goal. Kinwop, Pongrancic, Heinst, Gerhardt, Nelson, Schalaga, Arnold, Bakilo, Veghorst along with Ginschek. We start with Galashi in goal. Adams is in at right back. No Heinrichs today, unfortunately. Canant, Umpacano, Grimaldo, Olmo, Berg, Canuck, Sabitza, 
Justin Cliver and Yusuf Paulson leading the line. If he scores twice today, he breaks RB Leipzig's goal scoring record with 86 goals. So that's certainly something to look out for this afternoon. A tough test though with Wolfsburg. They have become a bit of a bogey team for us since I've taken charge at least. But they are on a bit of a poor run as you can see. So it is all about getting three points today and extending that lead at the top over Bayern Munich. And the sooner we can wrap up the Bundesliga title, the sooner we can concentrate fully on the Champions League and the German Cup as well. Because obviously there is a potential for a treble to happen. At least a double would be nice. Zabitza. Adam slinging it forward, looking for Paulson. He's going to get there first, and he has got there first. There is number 85. He is one away now from breaking the record. Lovely ball in from Tyler Adams. It was far too easy. It's a bit some running down the right-hand side, playing it back in unintentionally, but never mind. Adams with the ball into the middle. Paulson with the ball in the net, 1-0. 27th goal of the season. He and Sorloff together have been dynamic in terms of getting the goals for us. A lot of players have chipped in, to be fair, as well. Nelson picks it up. Vekos is down the middle, all on his own. What is he doing? Saved by Galashi. Didn't really have to shoot from there, though, did he? Probably could have taken a couple of touches. Olmo flinging it over the top, looking for Sabitza. He's into the penalty area. It's a great pass into the penalty area. It's in to the back of the net. I'm not sure how that's squeezed in. VAR will have a look at it, though. There is a hint of offside. Probably more than a hint, to be fair. VAR are checking, and the goal has been ruled out. How far was he offside? Let's have a look. A couple of yards? Yeah, at least a couple of yards. Never mind. Still 1-0. Adams with the throw. In towards Sabit, so he tries to flick it on. Arnold heads it away. Berg plays it on to Canuck. Into Adams. Going up against Gerhardt. Plays it into the middle. 2-0. Canuck has his eighth goal of the season. Not as spectacular as some of them, but they all count. And that is 2-0 coming up towards half-time. It's another bit of simple football. Just get it out wide, get it into the penalty area. That is the job of Tyler Adams today. Beyond the goalkeeper, 2-0. Fairness, special mention for Tyler Adams. He is filling in amiably for Heinrichs when he's injured at the moment. Could up with a free kick. Will it be three? It is number three. It's raining goals in Wolfsburg. Ninth goal of the season. And he's become a bit of a dead ball specialist as old Canuck. Ninth goal of the season. One of the better ones. Into the back of the net. 3-0. They're all beauties from Canuck. Doesn't score tappings. Olmo with the free kick. Plays it towards the back post. Headed towards goal again. Yusuf Paulson. There it is. Number 86. And he has broken the record for goal scoring for RB Leipzig. Four minutes before half time, it's four. Lovely ball in, lovely header. Great stuff from Yusuf Paulson. Well played, son. Chance for Wolfsburg to get one back. But Kilo with the ball into the box. Birds hits it away. Zabi, hooray! Over the bar. Unlucky. And there we go. Half time, 4 0. Absolutely blown them away. And obviously, we've had one ruled out for VAR as well. So, yeah, Yusuf Paulson on a hat trick. So is Canuck, to be fair. But yeah, Pervan has not got near one of them. I think he got his hand to one, didn't he? He got his hand to the free kick. That's about it so far. Bakilo with the corner. Did Wolfsburg try and undo a bit of the damage? There is a goal for them. Pragmatic with the goal. I probably said that wrong. But it is 4-1 at the start of the second half. Is the comeback on from Wolfsburg? I do hope not. It's a lovely corner in. Good header as well. Beats everybody in the air. Two players standing on the line. One standing just outside it. No one moves a muscle. Olmo. Chipping it forwards, looking for Clive. It's into the penalty area. It's off the post. It's off the other post. And it's just about rolled over the line. That is 5-1. It's beautiful when you see them come off both posts and go in. Darren Anderson scored one in an England game once. And it's probably the, one of the best goals I've ever seen. This one, not quite so good. But it does hit the inside of one post. Hits the inside of the other and just trickles over the line. 5-1 against Sweden if you want to look it up he's on YouTube are they putting a bit of pressure on they are trying to Paulson Olmo through to Paulson onto Cliver will he get a shot away Paulson will saved by the goalkeeper he's made a save at last all right let's have a look at a substitution shall we Marcel Sabitz is probably about the only player that's not playing particularly well this afternoon 
So, Lucas Nemechu is going to come on. And Wolfsburg are going to break forward with it as well. And Zabi comes forward. He's got Gisek across to him. I'm glad I don't manage Wolfsburg, I'll tell you that. Too many difficult names. Into the penalty of Weghorst over the bar. Nemecha with the ball, Nemecha with the shot, keeper of the save. Plays it back, Nemecha with the shot. Well, my goodness me. That is probably the worst shot we've had today. Probably the worst shot we've had all season. Reese Nelson coming down the field. He's got two in the box for him if he can find a man. Goes to Pakilo on the edge. He goes for the shot, puts it wide. Tries to get beyond him, plays it into Adams. Adams rolls it to Olmo. Shoot! Plays it into Paulson, probably the better idea. Nemecha with another shot wide, a goal. A little bit closer this time, though. Right, let's make that change. So Jorginho is going to come on. And Kaduk, on his two goals, is going to come off. In fairness, the subject in David Brooks should come on. I think he should as well. There we go. For Olmo. That's our three subs used. Yusuf Paulson has the chance of his hat-trick, although he's broken the record, which I'm delighted about as we race towards the last couple of minutes. For Kilo with a corner. Chance for another consolation goal, perhaps, for Wolfsburg. Pakilo sends the ball into the middle, headed towards goal. This time, Grimaldo clears it off the line. Someone did something while they were on the line. Into three additional minutes, and we are close to the end of the game. Umpacano plays it into Grimaldo. I think we've settled for five. Into Berg, looking over the top. Paulson's not going to chase that down. Unless the goalkeeper's going to drop at his feet, he's not going to get his hat-trick today. But as I've mentioned, he has already broken the record today. Fantastic achievement for him. It's not a high total, but it's there to be broken. And with one by five goals to one. So Bayern Munich's game and Borussia Dortmund's both take place on Sunday. Let's skip ahead and see how the league table ends up. So as expected, Bayern Munich have beaten Paderborn by five goals to nil. So the gap is back down to 17, which leaves me with a bit of a conundrum. Because potentially we are going to secure the Bundesliga title in the next couple of games. So we take on Stuttgart next time around when Bayern Munich take on Hoffenheim. Then the following week, we travel to Hamburg, Bayern Munich host Cologne. By the end of this match day, it could all be over because at the moment, we're 17 in front. We have the potential to be 20 in front if we win and they lose to Hoffenheim. Well, they don't beat Hoffenheim at least. So by the time we get to Hamburg, there'll be more of a gap difference in the points than what there will be left to play for so that's what we're going to do next time we're going to come back for those two games in the hope that we see the title secured god i ate maths but that is the situation that faces us right now so we'll come back for those two games next time around we've got chelsea to play in the quarterfinals of the champions league as well we'll stick that result in between that first leg at Stamford Bridge. So potentially it could all be over next time around. But a great result today against Wolfsburg. An absolute hammering, I'm sure you'll agree. Yusuf Paulson as well, special mention for him. Now the club's leading goal scorer of all time. Don't forget, if you enjoy this content, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Also, don't forget, remember the FM Creators community and the Passion for FM team. The link to the Discord servers is in the description. I will see you next time for Stuttgart and Hamburg. Until then, thanks for watching. Goodbye.